For me, it is, I, I live, eat, and breathe motorcycles. I love motorcycles. I love them when they're sitting on the ground and working on them, but I love the feel of riding them. It's, it's an emotional thing. It involves all of the senses, and racing involves the brain and the mind and the training um, as well. So it, it's not something that you just experience for the 15 minutes during a race. It's something that you live with from between races, going over things in your mind, figuring out what you could have done better, why this wasn't quite right, and tweaking it during the week and just thinking about it. So the 15 minutes is the fantastic part, but you live for the next month doing the 15 minute races again and trying to figure out how to do it better. It takes a little bit of courage, I think, because you're going out there, you're making a commitment, whether it's a conscious one or not, to do your best. You're gonna enter a race against all these dudes and you're gonna do your best. Right? And you could come in dead last. Which is a little comfortable thing. Yeah, especially when you got a bike this loud, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you have to first, again, consciously or not, be willing to accept failure when you're trying a hundred percent which takes a little courage but it also i think teaches you things you know, about yourself like when you try to do something and you put your all into it and you fail what do you do then I don't like to fail. <laughs> I don't like to lose. It's such a constant fight with, you know, of course. <laughs> but um, every time my goal changes, like every year maybe, my goal changes and it just gets higher and higher. And I don't know if it's good or not, but <laughs> my goal when I, before racing, I was when I was training on the bike, mini bike. My goal was to race, run race, before when I did turn 40. That wasn't my goal, that was it. I didn't think I could race. And then I started racing, and then my goal became, all right, championship. <laughs> As a novice champion, I ended up uh, third place in 2019, the best 350 championship uh, and then uh, this year expert season hit and my goal now is number one in the west coast in 350 class and it's big it's massive <laughs> but i like to have bigger you know set different goals challenge myself and i think i can do it if you aim this high then you'll, you might be able to get this high. But what if you aim that high? What if you aim way out there? Because I can do this. I already know I can do that. But what if I aim over there? Now I've got a challenge. What, isn't that great though? How great to have a challenge in life. Something you haven't done before. Something that seems impossible possibly. It's great. How exciting. That's, that's living. Living is doing things you don't normally do, that you aren't used to doing, that doing things that today seem impossible, but if you set your goal, maybe you can do that. I love that. I think that's a great way to live. Set yourself a really great goal and then bust your chops trying to get there. How exciting. And then what a great way to grow. And because it's dangerous and because you haven't done it before and because it's difficult, that's exactly why you should do it. That's why we do it. When you're eking the best out of yourself and you're getting your goals and you're making it to the next level, it's fantastic. When it's not and you're going backwards, it's frustrating as heck and you can either give up or that's where the way I'm hardwired is, is the determination kicks in. I, so I recently did a World Superbike, I did two World Superbike wildcards over in Czech Republic and in Spain in, uh, at Novara, the track. And, and the first one I did in Czech Republic, barely qualified, 
barely qualified. I mean, I won AFM, I had been doing pretty well in Motor America, and I was like, oh, you know, I'll be in the points. It'll be good. I'll be racing with Johnny Ray and all them. And no, bottom, 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 bottom. And I, I, you know, I'll be the first to admit I was, I don't feel like I was unprepared, but I think I was, I didn't realize really the level of, of rider, the level of equipment, the level of support that there really is out there. I feel like every race season I have challenges. I think everyone does. This sport is so rewarding, but it can also be so hard because it's so mental. It's sure it's physical, but you can ask a lot of racers and a lot of it's mental. So if you have some certain setbacks or if you're not achieving certain milestones in your riding or racing, it could be a little defeating or it could be a little, you have to search it a little deeper. Giving it my 100%, everything that I have at the time, and still being dead last is rough. And I remember on the flight back from Czech Republic, I was sitting there like, man, I feel like I, I rode my heart out and I was 30 seconds off the leader. You know what I mean? Those guys were just checked out on another level. And I remember I had about a three week break. And during that three week break, I just kind of sat and I was training and I was like, what can I do better? It's very frustrating when it suddenly falls apart and you can't figure out why. Uh, you know, five seconds is, is an eternity. It's, it's, it's impossible to suddenly drop five seconds when you're going as fast as you can. And, and so there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a frustration in it, knowing that it was so comfortable the year before, and now it's gone. Went back to Spain for my next and final wild card, and literally the first lap of the first free practice session, I kind of told myself, okay, there's been a lot of people telling me how to ride this bike. <clears throat> I've had lots of advice, which I'm thankful for, but lots of people being like, this is how you have to ride this bike. And I pretty much said, I'm gonna throw that all out the window, and I'm just gonna start over. And immediately, as soon as I did that, I wasn't last anymore. And I qualified better, I beat my teammate. Granted, it took me some time, it's not a, light switch you know you're so much better all of a sudden but it was a, a mentality shift as far as okay i was trying so hard in one direction maybe i need to try a different direction maybe it's better maybe it's worse i don't know but that's one thing i try and approach life with as far as okay i feel like i've given it a hundred percent and whatever it might be and i still suck at it you know what i mean um, and so, okay, you know, I might still suck at it, but I'm gonna keep trying my best and I'm gonna change my methods a little bit. And if it works great and if it doesn't, then I know I need to keep trying different things. The fact is, is that you're racing against people who are doing their absolute best to beat you. They are, they're doing their absolute best to beat you. And in my case, to catch you. And, the, and it's, how exciting is that? And then at the end of the race, and you beat me, we don't care, we had a great fucking race. We had a great time out there because it was so difficult, so challenging. That's so lovely, that's the real value, I think. And while I am an introvert, the only friends I've got are my motorcycle friends, and we race against each other, and we pit uh, together, and we go out and do the best to beat each other on the track and at the end of the day we're pleased and of, uh, and of each other's accomplishments and uh, sometimes leave a little frustrated and determined to do a better job the next time but it's my friends that I race with, want to race with, go out and do competition with, give it my best effort and know they're doing the same and at the end of the day we'll uh, give each other a hug and uh, tell each other we did great.